Lead sulfide concentrates are roasted and smelted to form lead bullion. The various impurities, including antimony, arsenic, silver, and tin, are removed by different processes. Silver is removed by the Parkes process. In this method of liquid-liquid extraction, zinc is added to a molten lead-silver mixture and cooled slowly. Because of zinc's high melting point and lower specific gravity, it solidifies before the lead. The silver in the mixture becomes concentrated in the zinc crust since it is 3,000 times more soluble in zinc than in lead. Gold also reacts with the added zinc, and this gold-silver-zinc alloy is easily drossed off of the liquid lead. The remaining lead-gold-silver residue is treated by copulation, the process of heating to high temperatures under strongly oxidizing conditions for impurity removal. First, the antimony, arsenic, and zinc are oxidized and removed, followed by lead, with bismuth, copper, and tellurium being the last to be oxidized and removed as a slag known as copper litharge. The remaining gold-silver alloy typically has a 99.9% .9 purity, to separate the gold from the refined silver, a process known as parting is used. The most commonly employed method is digestion of the alloy with nitric acid, wherein the silver is dissolved, the remaining gold is washed, and the silver precipitated from the washings as silver chloride by salt addition. Zinc sulfide concentrates are roasted and leached with sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid leach dissolves the majority of the zinc leaving 5-10% to in the residue, along with the impurities of gold, lead, and silver. This residue is melted to form a slag, and powdered coal or coke is blown into the melt along with air, a process known as slag fuming. Zinc is reduced and vaporized from the slag. The lead is converted to its metallic form and dissolves the silver and gold. The metallic lead bullion is collected and refined, such that high-purity silver can be recovered using the Parkes method, described above. Recovery of silver and silver recycling is accomplished using various methods, including the Parkes process, cupellation, parting, slag fuming, and electrolysis. For more information on the power of EMU for silver recovery and various case studies, please visit the website www.emu.com. Thank you for watching.